Hey guys, you can see Aqua Boy. He's getting ready to head out. You can see the water over there. Big river. It rained a lot last night. Actually, it rained, if you were 10 miles north or 10 miles south of us, you probably didn't get a whole lot of rain. Um, I was watching the radar and there was just a little thin band that went right across where we live. And it was thundering and lightning. Uh, kids woke up twice. It was loud. I'm tired, but it's all right. It's all good. We're going to power through. My wife has a conference today. She took everybody but Aqua Boy over to her parents. Uh, I'm taking Aqua Boy and uh, his, our, our friend O-Dog, that's his code name, um, to the basketball tournament. Uh, that would last most of the morning. Our last game would be at 1.30. It depends on how we do. So I'm going to go out and milk so we can get to that. Let's give you an example of how much water we've gotten. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's actually a current going along here, up over there, over there. Pigs are coming, buddy. You can see the current coming along there, through the chicken yard, from the pig pen over there. So it drains to here, and then it just kind of filters its way along that direction, over until it gets to the drainage swale, and then it heads all the way down the back of the property, down there to the marsh. So. You can see the, uh, oh, I think there's the baby. If I can hold this steady enough. See the little baby on the left there? It's so hard to see because they're so little. Hey guys, so we are home from basketball. Um, we've actually been home for a little bit. We lost our first two games, won the last game. It was nice to get a win. Um, still learning, still getting better. Still kind of gelling as a team. Um, the baby's sleeping. We have our end of the season co-op performance show tonight. Um, some of the classes are gonna do like dances, violin, it might be a choir and a play. Um, so we're doing that tonight. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, I need to get, the problem is I really can't cut the grass right now. I suppose I could, but it just clump up because it has been pouring all day. It's finally now just starting to warm up. Uh, the kids were out playing in the back. I told them that if they wanted to cut down, I don't know if you can see, there's some places back in here, like maybe right there, where there's trees that have been growing, just like scrub trees that have been growing in between all of the spruce and pine trees and stuff like that. And um, I just need to cut them down. I could hear the bees. But they got a little bit cl too close to where the uh, sandhill cranes are. And the sandhill cranes are very protective. Like they will try to, you know, come and scare you. They'll try to, if there's a predator, I've actually seen it where there was a um, coyote and one of the sandhill cranes feigned being injured um, to try to get the, the coyote to go away from you know, the baby. So I'm just gonna show you here quick. You guys can see there's a lot, of, there's a decent amount of activity on that hive. Let's come over here and see what we got. Yeah, a good amount of activity on this hive. You can see we've had like all those winds, this uh, play thing got blown away. There's a little bit of activity on the top of that hive. Like I said, I still have to find time to come out here and switch out some boxes. And the same thing with that one. So I'll keep an eye on those two hives, the older hives. The newer hives seem to be stronger, um, but I don't know if that's just because Swarms have left the other ones. I don't know, but there's still uh, there's still activity. I need to make sure that I take some honey off so they're not honey bound. But it's turning out to be a nice day. The grass is going to grow like total gangbusters, uh, which is fine. But uh, yeah, see, One guys, of my favorite things about spring is all the new growth. See, we got the um, lilacs. It smells so good. You smell them. Can you? Here, I'll bring you closer. Now can I smell them? Um, lilacs are actually one of my mom's favorite flowers. Um, she loves the smell. I love the smell of them. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Um, I love all of the new growth, even the grass, which has to be cut, like, seems like near constantly. So far, I haven't had to, like, pull teeth with the boys to get them to cut the grass. They don't mind jumping on the tractor most of the time and doing it. You can see the peach trees need a little pruning, um, but the peach trees are getting bigger. And then one of the other cool things, let me see if I can show you. 
So all of these spruce trees that we've planted, yeah, let's go over here. Um, when we planted all of these trees, these ones specifically were like a foot tall. Uh, and that was like 12 years ago. So they've been growing at over a foot a year. You can see how tall some of these are. Like, oh, that one's probably, I don't know. I was gonna guess, I'd say it's 15 feet tall because basketball heights there, yeah, probably 15 or even 16 feet tall. But I love in the spring when the growth candles come on the trees like this. So you can see all of this stuff here, this is where the new growth is going to occur this year. And as long as we don't get any freezing cold weather, um, these will grow and they'll probably grow a foot or more this year. Um, we've had years where the growth candles have come out, but you can see they're the you know light green. They're a little bit more tender. And uh, then we had a hard freeze and that growth all dies back and you almost lose, I don't know if this is true, but it seems like you lose a whole year of growth. So I love this time of year. And you guys can see down this path here, when we planted these, we planted them, I think on eight foot centers. And we used to be able to bring, you know, the big mowers back through here. I used to have no problem at all bringing the big John Deere tractor through here to cut back here. And obviously, I, I wouldn't even try to bring the John Deere tractor back here right now. I might, if I can find a cheap uh, walk behind sickle mower, I might try to do that. But like, this one's even more grown in. Like you can't even walk through there. So this is this is exactly what we built, the, or you know, planted this for. Around the whole border of our property, or at least the front half, we planted three, four, five, six rows of trees so that, you know, when people come, they can't see. It's just privacy. <clears throat> so, I love that. I love the fact that, you know, something that we started probably 12 years ago or whenever it was when my parents bought this property um, has, like, it's coming to fruition. It's there. Now, I still, you don't have the privacy on the front drive here, and I'd like to build a gate, but that's probably not a priority right now, at least not a big gate that'll help with privacy. You can see right here, this row. So right here, this row right here, this tree doesn't look so good, right? Well, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the salt in the winter um, that drains this way and has killed all of the, like this row has just been impossible to keep growing. On this side, it's fine. On that side, it's fine, but right here, just haven't been able to keep it growing. Oh well, 